Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I will be creating this glam Durga Puja makeup look. I asked you guys to suggest some videos you want to see for the festive season. Some of you wanted me to create this look, so I thought I will serve because I've never done a traditional look like this on my channel and this is a full glam and long-lasting makeup look. But we are going to create this look step by step, so it will be a helpful tutorial and let's get started. First step is to prime. I'm using a mattifying and pore minimizing primer. It's the Nykaa Prep Me Up Primer. I am focusing it on my T-zone. Apply a primer in the areas where you have prominent pores or fine lines. This is a silicone based primer. It's a really good primer for oily or combination skin type. Make sure that you press it nicely into your skin and apply the foundation after a minute of applying this primer. For foundation, I will be using the Miss Claire Everyday Foundation in True Beige and Caramel. I always mix these shades to create my perfect shade. 50% of True Beige and 50% of Caramel. Now, while applying the foundation, make sure you start from the problem areas that way you will end up using less product and no cake face i prefer using a brush for my problem areas or foundation application as it helps in maintaining coverage all the brushes and products i use in this video are linked in the description box so make sure to check that out if you are curious so i'm just going to build up the foundation slowly and in the end when i have an even layer all over my face and neck i am going to take a sponge and dab it all in this will get rid of any brush strokes and it will lock your foundation in place and make it long lasting For concealer, I'm using the Sugar Magic Wand Concealer in 30 Chococino. I'm going to apply it under my eyes, really focusing it in the areas where I have most of the darkness. Plus also applying a bit on my chin and my forehead to highlight those areas and give more structure to my face. Now we are going to apply the concealer and then leave it and then we are going to apply the contour and then we are going to blend the contour and then we are going to blend the concealer. So this way the concealer will give us more coverage. After this, I'm just going to take the NYX Wonder Stick in Universal. I'm using the contour shade of the stick and contouring my forehead forehead, cheekbones and jawline. This contour stick may look like it's not pigmented enough but it does work once you blend it. However, if you have a skin tone deeper than me, I will not suggest this. You can go for the sugar contour stick or the K-beauty contour stick in Coco Focus. Those are deeper shades and more pigmented. This one is easy to blend though. Now, for blending the concealer, I'm using the Pack 209 concealer brush. Again, this will help maintain the coverage of the concealer and the concealer blends easily basically with the brush compared to a sponge because this is a concealer that settles quickly and if you leave it on your face for too long, a concealer brush is the only way to blend it. A sponge will not be able to blend that mess. Also applying the concealer on my eyelids and that will just give me an eyeshadow base. To set my under eyes and highlight them, I'm using the Fit Me Powder by Maybelline. Um, the shade will be in the description box because to be honest, I don't remember. I'm pressing the powder on my under eyes. I'm not baking, just taking the amount that sets the concealer in place. No extra powder. This will just set that area, make it long lasting and also kind of highlight that area. It doesn't look super light or anything like that. It does oxidize and match like my overall skin tone, but it has a little bit of highlighting effect. For setting the rest of my face, I'm using the Nykaa Compact in Olive, which is more of my skin tone. Then, with the help of the Nykaa Brow Definer, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. I really like this brow definer. I'm just going back and forth on my eyebrows and just filling them in normally like I fill in my eyebrows. If you want to do hair like strokes, you can also do that with this definer to an extent it will not give you like really precise hair like strokes but you can create like natural fluffy eyebrows with this eyebrow definer mm -hmm. 
Then I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Clear Mascara to set my brow hair in place. This is a clear mascara that can also be used as a brow gel. Now let's get to eyeshadow. I'm picking up this warm transition shade on a fluffy blending brush. By the way, this is the Wet n Wild Rose in the Air eyeshadow palette, a really good affordable eyeshadow palette. I'm focusing the transition shade above my crease. I'm not applying it into my crease because later I will just use this transition shade to blend everything into my skin. The next shade I'm going to use is this warm maroon kind of shade and I'm applying it in to my crease make sure that you use the least amount of pressure and build the eyeshadow slowly like don't go in with a lot of product at once that will make your eyeshadow patchy and also make sure that you're holding the brush at the back that way you apply the least amount of pressure then ultimately i'm going to take this deep chocolate brown sort of shade for my outer v and i'm also dragging it into my crease and taking it all the way to my inner corner because if you want a sharp cut crease you have to have some depth in that area Now let's cut the crease. I'm using the same concealer that is the sugar one and I'm using the Plume P11 brush, one of the best brushes to cut your crease using a concealer. For my cut crease, I'm taking this champagne shimmery shade from the same palette and applying it on my cut crease. If you want, you can also add glitter for more glam but I'm just gonna leave it here. After that, I'm just using the deep chocolate brown and diffusing the edge of the cut crease with the outer corner shade. Then I'm mixing the transition shade and the chocolate brown shade and applying it on my lower lash line. The eyeliner I'm using here is the Mars eyeliner pen and I'm just going to create a nice medium sized wing today. We are not going for a small wing today because this is a glam look. This is a really good eyeliner pen if you want to create a crisp and precise wing because I really like the tip of this felt tip eyeliner. Then I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply some mascara. Make sure that you use a waterproof mascara if there is a lot of humidity in the air. I'm saying that because here I'm using a washable mascara. For tight lining, I'm using the Bellora Paris Cold Kiss Intense and for my waterline, I'm using a skin colored pencil. Now this combination that is a black coal for tight lining and a skin colored coal in your waterline will make your eyes look more elongated. Then I'm just gonna pop on some Nykaa Lash Talk Force eyelashes. The style will be in the description box. Let's get back to the face. I'm going to use some Bahama bronzer by The Balm. I love contouring with it. If you want a drugstore dupe for it, go for the sugar bronzer in uh, Caramel Captain. I think that was the shade name. I'm just applying the bronzer where I applied the cream contour and blending it into my skin, which will be my hairline in the hollow of my cheekbones and my jawline. Then I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Mellow Wine. This is a beautiful blush with matte finish. Very pigmented. I just love the color and it's perfect for dusky skin tone. Most of the base products that we use till now have a matte finish. So I'm just going to use a setting spray. This is the Pack Micro Finish Makeup Fixer. This will make the look long lasting and also bring back some dewiness that was lost when we used all of those matte finished products. After this, I'm using the K-Beauty highlighter and applying it on my cheekbones, brow bone and inner corner. If you're using a powder highlighter, make sure that you always apply it after your setting spray. That way the highlighter will perform really well. For lining my lips, I'm using the Nykaa Lipstone Lie Lip Liner in Head Over Heels. First, I'm going to line my lips, after which I am going to fill them in with the same lip liner. While using a red lipstick, you have to make sure that you line and fill your lips with a lip liner before going in with the lipstick. That just gives you a nice and even base and then you can easily pop on the lipstick. There are less chances of you messing it up. So that's why you should use a lip liner before applying a red lipstick. Or if you are a pro, you can just go in with the lipstick. Now for lips 
lipstick I'm using the L'Oreal Rouge Signature Matte Lip Ink in I'm Worth It. This is a very long lasting shade. It does stain your lips a bit so that makes it a bit more long lasting. Plus I love the color. It's a neutral red. A bit to the warm side I'll say just like the lip liner that I used but yeah I really like this red and that's it this is the completed look let me know in the comments if you have any queries regarding the products or any steps I'll be more than happy to help you out also let me know what else you want to see for this festive season because I'm really liking your suggestions so do leave a suggestion in the comments other than that if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye